G'day legends, James Greenshields here from our Emergent Leaders Foundation. One of the uh, big shifts that is required in our mindset, uh, in the corporate world, in generally all our interactions and relationships as far as leadership goes is a shift from competition against to competition with. Matter of fact, it's like it's a re-engineering of the original concept of what competition was all about. Before a lack mindset or a scarcity mindset crept into competition, which is like the best example, I suppose, is you see um, competition happening in a, a pre boxing uh, press conference where the two people walk in and they start slagging each other off, and it's all a bit tripe, it's all you know, trying to get the hype going, um, it's all wafer thin as far as any authenticity goes. Um, they're, they're trying to get the mental edge, apparently. Well, let's put it in context, okay? So this guy is gobbing off at this guy, saying, you're crap, you're shit, you're really weak. So as far as standard or, or uh, capability goes, what he's trying to do is push him down. He's, just, he's trying to dominate him. So he's saying, basically, he's down here and this guy's up here. So the question is, if this guy wins, or sorry, if this guy loses, where does he go? Well, he goes lower than this guy. But what happens if he wins? He's just shouted this guy down saying, you're crap. Well, he's only ever beaten a crap person. So again, he still goes down. And therein lies the issue with competition against. Competition against someone else to attempt to place myself up, to gain, um, gain credence, gain validity, and this again happens when we have a craving or a need inside ourselves for external recognition or external validation about something or someone, from someone. When we crave that or we need it inside ourselves, that completely shifts our motivators behind what we're doing. And it will disrupt and pollute our purpose. So we just finished our harmonic leadership workshop, part of our master's program. And the key concept of the first element of harmonic leadership, purify self, we had to look deep inside ourselves to have a look at the attachments that we have, which were causing disruption to things like competition and the way we view competition. So when we come to competition with, then what we're doing is we're, we're looking at someone else or something else and we're going, you are going to help me elevate myself to the next level because you're a master of your trade and so i'm going to engage in competition with you so that we both come away winners now as uh some of the sages in my life who uh, happen to be 15 and 13 years of age um, tend to do in in my understanding of life i was having a chat with abby the other day 15 she goes to circus and and we we're having this competition about what it, what it is different about circus than say um, out there on the rugby field, the soccer field, the football field. And she said, well dad, the simple analogy is this. When two football teams get on buses, they get on separate buses and then they drive to the event. One bus will walk away happy, and one bus will drive away really sad. When everyone goes to gymnastics gymnastics event, everyone gets on the buses, drives to the event, everyone performs, and if they have the ability to, everyone walk away really, really happy. Because as she's pointing out, the, the aspect for her is this competition with. And it's the ability for everyone to win. Now there's an amazing guy who I had a beautiful chat to in a workshop one day, who an Australian tennis player, Scotty Draper. If you wanna, if you wanna find a beautiful man and a huge story, look at Scotty Draper's story. At the age of 18, he was playing in the uh, Tokyo uh, Open for juniors in tennis. And he had uh, OCD so badly that it really, he, he had to wake up every five minutes and make sure that the lights were out in the toilet, the phone was off, the door was locked, etc., etc. It spiraled him completely out of any ability to function. And so he had to break from tennis for a bit to go inside and deal with the issues that brought on the OCD obsessive compulsive disorder if you don't know what it means and so he ended up coming back and in 2002 he played uh, in the Wimbledon grand final against Roger Federer probably one of the best tennis players ever to walk the face of the planet 
Now, it was a five-set tiebreaker in the main court in Wimbledon. And Scotty said, Roger Federer made about seven unforced errors in the, the tiebreaker. Yet Scotty walked away with the plate and Roger took the tournament. Scotty said, that was the best game of tennis I've ever played in my life. I might have been given a plate, but I won. And there's a man who truly knows about competing with and having someone elevate us. So let's now take this to business. If, you, if you're in this mindset of lack and there's only enough, there's only a small piece of the pie, then your purpose for being in business is going to be disrupted by that mindset and you are going to compete against. So you're going to try and put other people down to attempt to put you up. But remember, you put someone else down, you beat someone, you bring yourself down. So it's about purifying self and, and realizing that if, if you are living your purpose, there is an abundant wealth of every opportunity for everyone. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. And what happens if you scratch another person's back? Another person starts to feel grateful and all of a sudden scratches your back. And instead of everyone just looking only in their own lanes and fixated on certain things, all of a sudden we end up being humanity again and realizing humanity is about relationship, not isolation. And all of a sudden we can be there for each other and we can help everyone up. Why? Because I can thrive in this environment. Have a think about it. Trust you got something out of it. Much love.